Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. Oh, hi there, was just looking out the window. Welcome Into Tomorrow fans, I'm Dave Graveline. This is yet another ITTV update. We're back from Las Vegas for the second time in two weeks. I think we're getting over Vegas. And we hope you didn't miss any of our special from NAB. We were broadcasting from the Tiffin exhibit at the National Association of Broadcasters show. We had a lot of fun at NAB and we thank the folks from Tiffin for hosting our broadcast. Have you taken the tech poll on our website yet? Please be sure to check it out at graveline.com. We want your opinion and check back for other tech polls coming up. Rob will be joining us soon. He's got a very cool Bluetooth device that connects your cell phone to a regular house phone. But first, Chris is up with a peek into yesterday with This Week in Tech History. Chris? Thanks. This week in 1880, Francis Clark and M.G. Foster patented the electrical hearing aid. In 1946, the first commercial carrier ship to be equipped with radar, the SS African Star, was placed into service. In 1960, the submarine Tulaby was launched from Groton, Connecticut. It was the first sub to be equipped with closed-circuit television. And in 1937, the first animated cartoon electric sign was displayed on a building in Broadway in New York City. The sign was the creation of Douglas Lee, and it consisted of several thousand light bulbs and presented a four-minute show that featured a cavorting horse and ball-tossing cats. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Thanks, Chris. Now let's toss the ball over to Rob. He's been testing a Bluetooth device that may help replace your telephone service at home with your cell phone. Thank you, Dave. Several of our Into Tomorrow listeners have asked how they can tether their cell phones with their landlines. Some even asked for a Bluetooth solution specifically. There's this device called the X-Link that may help solve that issue. It's a cellular Bluetooth gateway connecting your Bluetooth-enabled cell phone with a landline phone without the need for telephone service at home. All you need is a good cell phone signal. With it, you can make and receive phone calls, and if your handset has a caller ID screen, you'll be able to screen your callers. The X-Link is fairly easy to set up and use. You first have to pair it with your cell phone. It can pair up to three phones, we notice here. You then connect the X-Link to a wired or cordless phone. We have a wired one here. Make sure you keep your cell phone near the X-Link to get a better connection. So you're now ready to make and receive phone calls. The best part is that you can now take advantage of those nights and weekend minutes that you barely use. I get about 5,000 of those and only use 300, so you know what I'm talking about. I do have to admit that I'm excited about this device, but it comes at a price. The X-Link retails at around 160 bucks. Bit on the pricey side, but it can save you a telephone bill, so you know, it kind of balances out, but it's up to you. I know lots of people who no longer have a phone line at home because they're making all their calls from their cell phone. I also have to point out that you can't go too far away from the X-Link or the call may drop. You're dealing with Bluetooth here, so it doesn't go very far. Average is about 30 feet, so do keep that in mind. And don't get too crazy yakking either. I mean, I can get away with it, but you have to keep track of your talk time or pay a hefty cell phone bill, depending on your service, of course, and how many minutes you get. That's why I suggest you make your phone calls at night and anytime on the weekend. That wraps it up for me this week, folks. I encourage you to tune into tomorrow this weekend and learn more about the X-Link or download our free podcast at graveline.com. Until next time, here you go, Dave. Thank you, Rob, very much. 
Have you entered the Crutchfield If You Dream It, They'll Help You Build It contest? You could win up to $3,000 in cool gear by being the ultimate winner. I'll be the judge of that. That's right, I'm actually the judge of this contest, so go ahead, get creative, impress me. Check it out at our website, graveline.com. It's going to be a lot of fun, and good luck to you. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Stay tuned into tomorrow. I'll be looking out the window some more if you don't mind.